How's it going YouTube? Today we're gonna do <clears throat> it's something a little different. Well, not really different, but it looks a little different. Here it is. The end of October in Utah. And we have snow. Boy is it getting cold. And if this is any sign, it's going to be colder than hell this winter. So, I have a plan. If I can find my car keys. What I'm going to do, guys. Tahoe's broke down. Truck doesn't run. Car's broke down. And I've been driving my sister's for a while. And I always hate when I hit this goddamn trunk button. Oh, I actually didn't this time. In my pocket, my other keys, I'll push up against the button and open my trunk. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fix the Grand Prix and drive that for the winter. Then come next summer, next, you know, whatever, once it starts warming up spring, you know, I'll fix the Tahoe and stuff. So, but right now it's about 20 something degrees out here. And the tall hasn't ran in two or three days, so actually since Monday, and it's now Wednesday, so two days. I guess just yesterday, but you know, whatever. So what we're going to do is a cold start on it, and we'll see if we can get it to start. I know it is kind of low on gas too, but let me show you. So the exhaust pops out right there. It's a single three inch. So let's get to it. Well, that took a bit. Um, that was weird at first. It seemed like the starter was acting up or something. Um, but like I said, it hasn't ran since Monday. I'm surprised. You know, these aren't that hard to start. And our plumber's here. Our toilet's destroyed, so... Our plumber's here. What the hell is he doing pulling in our driveway, though? Yeah, whatever. Um, it does still have an exhaust leak because I forgot to put these little pieces up in between the manifold and the uh, pipe. So, and then there's a gap about that big because the bolt's stiff, the wrong bolt. But let me go deal with this. I'll see you guys later. 